Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today, it's just kind of a lazy day where I'm taking some of my larger house plants, uh, bringing them in the tub here, spraying them down uh, with my spray bottle. Oh, geez. And uh, just giving it some water as uh, some of my larger aglaenemas, they're starting to get um, a little bit droopy. So they're definitely needing some water. So I thought I'd just bring you along and just show you how I clean my plants off some of the larger ones in the bathtub. Do you have a little visitor here as well? Oscar, hey, you licking the water? He's getting so big. Hey, you're so cute. You're such a good boy. Gotta clean your face. You need a bath, hey boy? A lot of people have been asking for more uh, dogs in the videos. So here's one, he never leaves my side. Hey, you're a good boy. Okay, so I'm going to start off, or I've already started spraying off this plant. I absolutely love this spray bottle. It's a little pump action. Um, I don't know how many, maybe a one liter bottle, two liters. It's really good for just spraying down the plant. It uh, just kind of blasts off any uh, dust or dirt. And also, yeah, I find it's pretty effective if you have like spider mites. I'll usually just blast them off the, uh, with the uh, spray bottle here. It's got some different settings so you can adjust it as needed. It's got a little more of a stronger stream or let's see. It's got also like a, a finer mist function there as well. I love when he kicks his little back legs out like this. <laughs> okay. I'm also gonna get the underside of the leaves. This one right here is the Golden Madonna. Oh no, this is the uh, Green Papaya. Look at these leaves. I'll usually water out in the kitchen with my uh, little square watering tray, but when I'm spraying off the plants, then I will just water them in the tub here as well. Just give it some water until it comes out the bottom of the drain hole. I have to start adding uh, like a coffee filter or some uh, fine mesh at the bottom of my pots at the uh, drain hole so I don't uh, lose soil or dirt as I water my plants. It just basically flushes out the bottom. Don't mind my house, it's a, an absolute disaster today. Okay, so putting this one right there and I might take the Silver Bay next. Got my fancy little studio light. Tub. I really like this bottle. It cleans off the leaves uh, really nice. There's never any dust or anything on them. Look at these leaves. This is a super common variety of uh, Aglaenema, the Silver Bay. You can find these at any like big box store, Walmart, or anything like that. This one is always growing. Got a yellow leaf right here that I'm gonna take off, but first we'll finish watering it. We're spraying off the leaves. Hopefully it's not too echoey in here. Sometimes it can be in the bathroom. Okay, let's find this leaf. Uh, it's a lower one. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm just going to just take it off. You can usually just twist them off. This one's not coming as easily. There you go. Oh, good lord. Okay, that was a little more. Whenever I take a leaf off the plant, I always flip it over and just make sure there's no uh, insect damage, uh, spider webs, or that sort of thing. I've been finding my aglaenemas uh, fairly thirsty lately. I've been watering them quite frequently. So I gotta keep an eye on that. Drain down good. Wait until it comes out the bottom. Give it a little bit more. Here's my little filter water system. It's a Culligan uh, filter. It's got a cartridge you can uh, remove, I think, every three months. Don't mind my dirty dishes. Okay, we'll get that. Don't judge me. I haven't emptied the dishwasher yet, so don't look at those. We'll fill this up and I'll grab another plant to spray down. I'll never let the uh, perlite and dirt, like the bigger chunks, go down the drain. So I'll just use a small cloth and I just clean out the tub 
and then I throw it in the garbage. You just don't want to uh, clog up your pipes with this kind of stuff. Oh, whoops, I dropped it on the floor. Okay, the next one here, I believe this is the Aglaenema Juliet. Uh, I think it's a cross where it's very similar to the Aglaenema Cutlass leaf, as well as like the pattern on it reminds me of the Emerald uh, Beauty. So I think it's maybe a hybrid between the two. And this one's getting a little bit of a yellow leaf here as well. It's uh, super dry. Where's my, lost my water bottle. I like to spray these off in the tub every once in a while. Uh, right now, I can't do it outside. It's winter time here in Canada, so um, yeah, that's not a possibility. So bring it in the bathtub here, spray it off with the uh, spray bottle. You can use your shower attachment, but uh, for me, I use softened water, so that means we add salt to our hard water. So if I use the uh, shower head attachment, it's going to basically uh, fill the pot up with uh, salt water or salty water, which will cause some issues. So if you have softened water, um, make sure that you don't use your shower faucet. Um, just use some filtered water or get a spray bottle or something like that and uh, spray your plants off. Otherwise, you'll have uh, salt issues or salt buildup in your soil. I still thoroughly water my plants in the winter months here. And you can see this one is getting some new growth. So it's, uh, I thought there was another one here. So it's still growing. So, and like I said, I'm watering these ones quite often. They're also in terracotta pots, so that uh, helps them dry out a little bit faster as well. Just let that soak through and I've got a couple more coming out at the bottom. So yeah, I got a couple more that I'll bring in here, spread off, and then I'll move on to some other plant chores for the day. Yeah, you're gonna grab this Emerald Beauty and we'll spray this one off. You wanna be on video? <laughs> these leaves are beautiful again this is another super common variety you can find it at many big box stores i just like the uh kind of the tiger pattern on it leaves aren't even that dirty but i just like to spray them off just like I said in case they're not really susceptible to uh, spider mites or anything like that I just like to give them a little bit of a cleaning every once in a while this one's putting out some yellow leaves here as well it's still getting some new growth I think mm, maybe not get in here just like that just soak it so. I think I'm only going to do a couple more. This is my large uh, bush style Ficus elastica taniki or tanica. Uh, this one I absolutely love. It's uh, always pushing out new growth. I did lose a bunch of lower leaves in the summer and I do have it kind of all tied together as they want to flop over. These ficus plants are pretty prone to spider mites so I'm always looking um, underneath the leaves and along the stem just to make sure there's no uh, webbing or anything like that. So I like to spray these ones off quite often. Oh, look at this new leaf. It's not even hardened off yet. There might be some varying opinions on spraying down plants. Some people say plants don't respond well to that. Um, I've, never really had, I've never really had an issue with that. Just like to keep the leaves clean. Like I said, of any dust or spider mites, that sort of thing. So, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but all the branches are basically leaning towards this way. So I'm going to um, have the other side or the back side face the sun this time because clearly they're all pulling towards this way. Look at this leaf. I love it. I'll probably do a care video on this one fairly soon. Um, I do have some examples of propagations and that sort of thing as well. I don't know if you can see it down here, but I have my ficus plants in uh, a lot of perlite, probably like half soil, half perlite, just allows for a, uh, like a really well draining soil. Okay, now I'm gonna give it some water. This is a larger pot, so I'm not necessarily going to completely soak it, but I'm definitely gonna give it enough water so that it uh, reaches the lower portion of the pot. I think that should be, it's like a perlite soup. A lot of perlite. Once I'm done watering it and spraying it off, I just like to give it a little bit of a shake. 
take all the excess water off. You can wipe the ooh, you can wipe the leaves clean if you want, but that's gonna take a lot of time. So I just like to let it uh, kind of drip dry, shake the stem every once in a while, get those water drops off, and then put it back in its uh, location. So you just want to make sure that if you're spraying off plants. Uh, they don't get any direct sunlight on the leaves because these uh, little water drops will basically act like magnifying glasses and if it's in direct sun it will uh, scorch the leaves so um, just put it in a uh, shady spot until it dries off or if you have it in a bright indirect light location that'll be good as well. Another plant that's really prone to spider mites is the Diefenbachia, basically all varieties. This is the Seguin I believe it's called or the Tropic Snow. This one I bought is like one long kind of leggy stem, chopped it up, I propagated it. I got a couple other um, smaller cuttings. This one I rooted in water and it's got a little bit of a shorter stalk now. So this one I like to spray off often. And it's bone dry right now, so it's gonna need some uh, water here as well. Look at these leaves, like I, I keep saying they're gorgeous, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna give it some water. I got a couple more plants. Oh, I don't have much water left in this can. Got a couple more plants that I'm going to spray off. See this little area right here? It's a little bit of a different color. So last night I made a uh, soil predatory mite video. That's the, uh, uh, I guess the transport material. I think it's vermiculite that uh, those predatory mites were in so just a little area there so I'm hoping these uh, predatory uh, soil mites take care of spider mite issues as well. Basically put it on all my house plants. If you haven't seen that video I can leave the link up in the top corner here you can go check that out. Here is my large ficus elastica melanie. This is one of my favorites. Um, I got one other one that I'm gonna uh, clean up here as well that I'll show you uh, next. But this is, like I said, the melanie. It's an absolutely beautiful plant. It's a smaller leafed, more condensed uh, ficus elastica with, uh, it's got almost like a coppery tone with these uh, new leaves that come out like that. Just absolutely gorgeous. I haven't uh, cleaned this one off for a while now, but I did water it the other day. Again, you can see a lot of perlite. Here is a few syngoniums that I potted up in here as well. I'm hoping that these will eventually kind of latch on to the stem with their aerial roots and kind of grow up the plant. Look at these glistening leaves. This leaf has been yellow for a while. Where is it? I just kind of tug on it lightly. Uh, sometimes when the uh, leaf uh, dies off or retires, I guess you can call it, um, they're uh, easily pulled off, but uh, this one, it's still hanging on there. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this around. Get the back side of this. you get the stems of the plant, the undersides of the leaves, cleaning off all the dust. Spray off the little syngoniums down there. Just like a little forest rainfall. And then finish it off with a good shake. Okay, next one. So the last plant I'm gonna show you guys is my large Ficus Alaska. I think this one is the Robusta. Um, I did receive this one as a small cutting and over the last year it's grown huge. I love this one because of the size of the leaves. This is the lighter green one. It's a little bit different than the uh, burgundy type. This is the plant where I did the uh, mayo experiment with as well as the vinegar and water. What else did I use? Oh, milk. Um, so yeah, there is no damage, I haven't washed the leaves or anything like that. I did wipe the mayo off, I think this was the one. Still, you can see, fairly glossy, but uh, yeah, anyways, just gonna spray this one off. I do have a little 
epiphyllum plant down here. I just potted it up. This is the queen of the night uh, orchid cactus. Um, it's just starting to get a new little branch. So hopefully this one grows soon. I hope you enjoy this video. It was just a really last minute type um, idea. I just grabbed my camera and just decided to bring you along while I spray off some of my larger plants in the shower bathtub here. Just to show you what I kind of do with cleaning off my plants. So yeah, hopefully it's not boring. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. There's nothing really to it. I didn't plan anything. It's not scripted or anything like that. Just grab the camera and brought you in my bathroom. This one is a little bit more thirstier than the rest of my ficus plants. So I'm having to water this one a little bit more often. Again, here's a little bit of those predatory mites that I put in there last night. Lots of perlite in this one here as well. I'm going to water this one until it comes out the bottom of the drain hole. because so I want all the roots at the bottom to, uh, to get water there as well so they can soak it up and use it for uh, more growth as they photosynthesize. Just going to give it a little bit of a shake here. Oh geez. But I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. Thanks again for watching everyone. Take care. Bye.